another Tuesday. Um, I don't know where where she may be at any given point in time, whether it's uh, in Jamaica, but she's been traveling, so uh, let's find out. Uh, call it! Hey, Francois! <laughs> How are Hi! You? I am good, not as good as you. Well, you don't know that. I happen to know that. I gather you've been traveling. I see yes. pictures of you all over the place. Ooh. Uh, you know, kind of schmoozing up with uh, reggae <laughs> superstars and, and things star like that. And, you know, ordinary what, people. What are you up to? Ordinary people. I had the distinct privilege of traveling to South Miami yes. to attend the Bujo and Friends Before the Dawn concert. Did and you really? It was fabulous. And you know, yeah. it speaks to what we're going to talk about today because before the show I was having dinner with some friends and my mother called and she said, well, how was the food? And I said, mm, I know moms have eyes in the back of their head but they <laughs> to see me miles away. I, I checked in on Foursquare and Foursquare tweeted my location so anybody who was following me could know Hold on a second. Was. Foursquare then tweets your location? That's right. Foursquare tweets my location. So. This and you're good with that? I'm good with that. Did you know that it was going to do I that? I it was going to do that because geolocation services are the new big trend. No, I thought it is that if I'm your friend yes. and you're doing the Foursquare thing, I can look for you yes. and find out where you are. Yes, you can. But you're going to say that maybe I'm just following you on Twitter and I now know where you are? Optionally, you can follow me on Twitter and yes, know where I am. That's, Sounds like a dangerous. That's a little much. Yeah, there, there are concerns about you, but I'm on radio right now. People know where I am, so. Yeah, but you're in a secure building with uh, mm. security guards. Mm. Hey, you know. <laughs> I was in a secure building at the time. <laughs> but geolocation services have, have some distinct advantages. So let's look at them first. We're right. going to really encourage people to do this? We're going to encourage them to do it. I find you irresponsible this morning. Irresponsible, just like with Facebook. <laughs> you know, you put your information out there and how you put your, your information Your information is one thing. Where you are is another. But people know where you are. You're a public right. figure. People know where you are. So this is Carlet endorsing it. it. Oh, I didn't say I endorsed any of this. Here it is. Uh, I was chatting with a good friend of mine who yeah. is the mayor of a particular location. So with Foursquare and other... What does that mean? I'm Tell the people. Explain with Foursquare. Next thing you're going to talk about mayor. Mayor going to call me <laughs> and say a, that oh, you and you him mean? hanging up. Just you make it clear. When it is that you check in on Foursquare, so Foursquare <laughs> it's, a, it's a social media service that allows you to let people know where you are. Yeah. And one of the advantages of it is that shop owners and businesses are using it to reward their loyal customers. Okay. And they don't need any kind of formal loyalty program. So let us say that you are famous now and you come to fame every single day. You can yeah. check in at fame and then fame can say, oh yes, you're here all the time. We like you. Here is something special for you. Right. I go to my favorite restaurant. They see that I'm there all the time. You know, maybe the manager doesn't see me. He doesn't need to see me. They can yeah. just know that I'm there from the service. Or you could send somebody with your phone up there, couldn't you? <laughs> That's an option as well. Yeah. Right. A lot of people are offering discounts <laughs> if it is that you check in on Foursquare to let people know you're there. Because yeah. after all, that creates a buzz. If lots of people know that you're there, then other people are going to want to go there too. Especially if Francois says that he's there. <laughs> oh, wow. But I do encourage you to use Foursquare very carefully. So so I wouldn't advise you to check in at home. I wouldn't advise you to check in at work. These are places that should be private to you. Yeah. So you don't need people knowing that you are. And you don't So have this to is something that you would switch on and switch off? You can switch it on and off, certainly. And you Or could you just make home invisible? You can make well it, it won't say where you are unless you check in. You have to physically Oh. Right. So it, it's not like it's oh, transmitting okay. your location every minute of every day. That's what but, I thought. No, 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 no. That would be dangerous. Mm. For that, you use uh, latitude <laughs> with Google Maps. And in that scenario, definitely, you restrict it only to your friends. And I do have Google Maps on my phone. And I do have three or four friends that I'm tracking, and they're tracking me. And it was an invaluable tool when my phone was stolen some months ago. My friend was able to pull up her phone and say, Ah, oh, Carlet, I see where your phone is at. Did you get the and phone I, back? Based on the location of the phone at the you time, gonna go I decided it. that it was in my best interest <laughs> to leave the phone <laughs> right away. But let us say that I left it at home or I lost it. Then you could, um, then I could go back. It helps you I to get, track precisely. it. Precisely. So All right, right. I get Not that. Not to mention, a girlfriend and I were going for drinks um, at the swanky new location. And she said, okay, I'm here. And I said, really? Okay, I'm coming. And because I could see her location on my phone, I could drive to her without having to ask her for directions. I just knew exactly where she was and I was able to go right to her. Geolocation services used responsibly. What, what are you trying to do? Cool. You just make it obsolete for me to tell you? I'm at 32 Lindhurst Road. I don't know how to find Lindhurst.
Lazarus Road off Beach Road off the it's hard to find <laughs> you just transmit your location <laughs> and another friend who is not tracking me I was able to use uh, the new Blackberry 6.0 software so if you have a new blackberry you can transmit your location via messenger to a friend mm. and then they can pull it up on the map another thing all the pictures that i took this weekend have that geolocation tag on it so years from now i don't have to wonder where i took the picture it's right there embedded okay. in the picture miami florida so the service can be good i must admit as a little creeped out when my mother called me out of the blue <laughs> to say well i know you're having lunch yeah. with, with friends uh, so just use it responsibly uh, you know, sometimes you are creating um, technology to to do what we should be able to do easily with our brains. But this is what it is. We can now focus on other things, other higher order things. We don't have to, to worry. You know, we end up so, focusing on lower order things. <laughs> that, that happens sometimes. So we're going to put in four square here at Fame and everybody can check in at the Fame Road Parties. And when we see two, three, five thousand people checking in on four square at a Fame Road Party, it's gonna, it's just, we're going to block the place literally and mm -hmm. virtually. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're implementing we're Foursquare. Gonna, we're gonna implement Foursquare. We're gonna so put that, it on your phone, and we can put it wherever we want to put it yes, to. Yes, wherever you drive to, wherever you ride to, wherever you walk to, you're using a GPS tracking in your phone. Your your phone. Tells Folks, let me know if you are gonna do this Foursquare thing, or if you're already doing it, and or where, if where you're already your doing it, and you let people know where you are let me check and. It right now. Um, know where you, what your movements are. I bet you none of the fellas doing it. Um, uh -huh. Just do it very carefully. You don't want to check in at private locations. Four and people, square. please, just because you know where someone is, don't be calling them and saying, "Yeah, yeah, no, no." Be responsible. Why not? Why? Why shouldn't they? That's why you want them to know. If you don't want it to call, oh, you really at the the closed store? Oh, I'm gonna come down. Isn't that what you want? If you're my friend, sure. What you want? What? So why are you sharing with people that are not your friend then? Because I want them to know that they can come to the Fame Road Party. They don't have to, don't have to physically... I get that one, but I just want to know why you want generally people to know where Carlet is. Generally, I want them to be able to listen on Fame. I want them to watch TVJ. I want them to read the stuff. Yeah. So from my perspective, that's what I want them to know. I get that, yeah. but I don't see how telling them where you are... When I go to Susie's Bakery, they don't need to know. They don't? Then, need to know and don't check in there but if you want to get the discount that Susie's is offering to you then you need to check in you don't get something for nothing I get that part of it and I, I see how it works you remember when you didn't get Facebook remember when you didn't get Twitter <laughs> you know what we need a year ago in technology ah. has changed that. very good <laughs> all right she's trying to trick me up with my own tricks <laughs> Uh, I tell you what we're gonna do, folks. We uh, we're gonna go for some music, uh, have some news, and come back. Carla has to stick around, and uh, she's got to do a couple of things for us. She's got to um, uh, join in the survey. We're gonna find out who's on Foursquare, who thinks it's a great idea, mm -hmm. who thinks it's a dumb idea. It's gonna come up on the text line eight seven eight F A M E. That's eight seven eight two. No, no. Listen to me carefully. Eight seven eight three two six three. Um, also, if you have uh, information, questions, or thoughts on any bit of technology that was discussed or not discussed, then we can do it here. There's a, uh, a blog, Trivial on Fame, Trivial on dot fame blogspot dot blogspot dot com. Yes. or uh, Carla is on uh, Twitter, yeah. and if you're on Twitter, then you know everywhere she's eating. <laughs> uh, I, I'm on Twitter, I don't tell you where I'm eating, but um, we'll, we'll come back to that right after. Got 10 minutes? Get technified with Tech Time on Tuesdays in Trivial Pursuit with Francois and me, Carlette, on the Blazing 95 FM.